Imagine that you are a space alien tasked with explaining the increase in human obesity over the past century or so. You have access to Earth epidemiology, but are shielded from news or popular media regarding diet and health. What might you conclude? The so-called obesity epidemic that began during the 20th century has many competing explanations. Although some theories are sociocultural, most are dietary in nature. The 20th century was a time of great technologically driven nutritional change, but which of these changes is most likely to have caused an increase in the rate of obesity? Fashionable opinion has long oscillated between carbohydrates, specifically sugars, and fats, specifically saturated fats, as being most responsible. Total carbohydrate consumption has not substantially changed in the United States during the 20th century, but sugar consumption has. As a percentage of calories, sugar has increased roughly 60%. From the period 1980 to 1997, the contribution to carbohydrate calories from corn syrup increased from 10 to 20%, mostly displacing grains. The sugar timeline seems to fit the one for obesity, and the numbers are respectable, but other changes should be considered to keep things in context. Many foods were ebbing and flowing into and out of the diet over this time period. From 1909 to 1999, calories from fruit increased 33%, from nuts, 149%, and from poultry, 425%. During that same time period, items that decreased were beef at 9%, eggs down 10%, dairy down 12%, fish, not including shellfish, down 16%, pork 31%, and lamb plummeting 83%. Most of the 20th century decreases occurred for foods with a significant fat content, and mostly saturated. In order to maintain the relatively steady overall fat intake, which was more or less maintained, another fat source had to replace it. The increased nuts and poultry intake accounts for some, and there was also a post-World War II shift away from butter and towards shortening, which increased 161%. Vegetable oils, excluding soybean oil, went up 250%. As a percentage of calories, soybean oil increased 123,810%. Whether considering this astronomical soybean oil figure or not, a narrative plainly emerges. Many foods whose intake had decreased were sources of saturated fats. The foods replacing them with the exception of sugar and fruit, were sources of polyunsaturated fats, or PUFA. Specifically, they are foods rich in N6 or omega-6 PUFA. Soybean oil is 50 to 60% linoleic acid in N6 PUFA, and about 6% linolenic acid in N3 PUFA. The remaining third or so is a mix of monounsaturated and saturated fat. This fatty acid profile is typical of most seed oils. Total PUFA intake is likely even higher than that drawn from these consumption changes, as many animal foods, including beef and dairy, but especially pork, now have a different fatty acid profile than would their early 20th century counterparts. According to testing by research diets, the PUFA content of pig lard is probably twice that reported on the USDA database comprising 32% rather than the reported 17% of total fat content. Pig fat is especially sensitive to diet since, like humans and unlike ruminants, such as cows whose multiple stomachs contain fatty acid-altering microbes, single-stomached ungulates store much of their dietary fat as eaten. The largest increase in gross calories occurred for sugar, but not the largest increase in percent contribution. Sugar began the 20th century at approximately 10% of calories and ended at approximately 16%. Linoleic acid was around 2% and is now close to 10%. 
one single fatty acid nearing a 10% contribution to energy intake. Although the caloric change for sugar was large, the initial level was already significant. Linoleic acid, on the other hand, or PUFA in general, were not significant sources of energy in the pre-20th century diet. This begs the question as to why sugar consumption should cause an epidemic at the current consumption rates, yet appear benign at the not insignificant previous ones. As a fold change, linoleic acid far outperforms sugar, increasing eight or more times over. If you, the space alien epidemiologist, had to report back to central command with a conclusion that either dietary sugar or dietary PUFA were most likely to blame for the obesity epidemic, which one would you choose? <laughs>